Hi! Welcome to Plus Alpha Designs. Today, I will be making one of my original designs, the radial piston engine model. This is a model of an 8-cylinder radial engine, with cross-section cylinder so that you can see the entire mechanism in action. You can turn the center hub and see all of the 8 pistons working together. There is also a handle on the reverse side so it is easy to turn the engine by hand. I hope this is a fun toy to play, but also be an inspiring tool to learn about radial engines. Let's go! I will print the parts in 4 batches, corresponding to the different colors that I used. All parts will be printed using PLA filament. First is the cylinder block. This massive print will take about 5 hours. I will print in normal setting that I usually use, which is 0.2mm layer height and 15% infill. Next is the 8 pistons. You will need to add supports for the floating connecting end. Depending on the bridging capability of your printer, you may be able to get away without using supports. Print setting is same as before, which is 0.2mm layer height and 15% infill. Next is the rotor, the pin, and the handle. This should be an easy print. Print setting is 0.2mm layer height and 15% infill. Last set is the remaining bunch. This consists of 7 rods, hub top, and hub bottom. You will need supports for the hub bottom to support the floating rod end. Print setting is also 0.2mm layer height and 15% infill. Let's get printing. Before you start the assembly, you may want to make sure that the pistons move smoothly inside each of the cylinders. Also, you may want to make sure that the rod moves smoothly when attached on the hub. You can use a drill bit or something sharp to clean out the hole, to make sure they move smoothly. There are probably other ways to assemble this model but this is the order that I found to work. First insert the pin into the rotor. And set it inside the cylinder housing. Then attach the handle on the reverse side. Now take the hub bottom and attach one of the pistons. Make sure that the piston moves freely when it is attached. Slide the piston through the cylinder and turn the hub so that the hub attaches to the rotor. Now you have one piston moving.
Now assemble the remaining pistons. Attach the piston onto the rod. Also make sure that the rod moves smoothly. And do the same for all of them. Slide the piston through the cylinder, and attach the rod onto the hub. Make sure that you don't connect the rod onto the wrong pin. Finally take the hub top and cover the hub bottom. This completes the assembly. In case the handle is loose depending on your printer tolerances, I designed a hole in the pin so that you can wedge something in, like a screw, to prevent the handle from falling off. With the printer I used, the handle attaches firmly with the pin. I hope you found this video interesting. I am glad that the model came out quite well. I think the model will run more smoothly as I run it longer. If you want your own radial engine model, you can download the files for free from the link in the description below and build your own. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.